Hey everybody, this is Grimcad, back with more Dominions 5. And we're getting right into it, because we already watched this one a little bit. Uh, we are going around destroying all of Rus and Rus's accomplishments that they have ever made in life. So, you know, things are going good. Uh, let's see, in the backfield... We should be casting more specs pretty much all the time. We are recruiting... Ooh, underwaters is about as slowly as we could go. I mean, it's possible we could do it slower, but it might be pretty tough. Moving our god over here to take this throne, which is a good one for us. And he'll do a little bit of casting and those kinds of things. Uh, let's see. He's moving to start building temples. He can start uh, Have we done augury everywhere around here? Pretty close to except for these new sites, but Let's go ahead and augury everywhere. Moving, Mo not moving. The building temple, he should be moving. We should all be moving here. Everybody's moving. Oh, Russian's a lot. But I'm not seeing a lot of armies from them, to be honest with you. So I don't quite know where their power is coming from, unless they're embroiled in a war somewhere in one of the far corners, which is possible, sure, but... I don't think it's super likely. Battle in Bright Woods? <laughs> Will the lions make it before they die? Yeah, they did. How about that? Good gosh. Battle in Phrygia? Oh, we get attacked somewhere, too, by them. Summer lions are pretty great. Just to make sure we didn't lose anybody. We did not. Uh, and then we get attacked. And, oh, we've actually got an army here. if any. Yeah, a couple of beast bats. A couple of long deads. World pillar? Oh man, I can move those skeletons are slow. <laughs> we should probably... Uh, did I say skeletons? I meant scorpions. Those scorpions are slow. Whoops. Hit the wrong button there. Um, and battle in the Waywoods. Probably more of the same. Any of these get blessed? Yes. So they're hitting for 27 and 25. The blessed ones, anyways. And. Warring tribes and magic is fading. Well, that's a that's a that's a rough one. Killed ninety two brigands. Very nice. <laughs> uh, well, go back blood hunting. So that's all the nature sites looks like. Crowley, you can run down and grab. Uh, all those beastie bats. Uh, we'll start building temples. 
couple of things over here. Uh, okay, now we've run into Yomi. So they own this. All right. Uh, we're going to make sure we at least have some province defense everywhere. around and we'll build some temples too for no particular reason but we'll do it uh, not everywhere though if you don't have to build a temple don't build a temple something like one a turn. Alright, fair enough. Okay, some sort of standing pillar on the map. isn't gonna hurt um, but it is gonna take away from our one <laughs> Triton per turn mm. all right augury finding nothing Couple of blood slaves, battle and world pillar. They attack us. Uh, we might not have a lot there. Cancel. We got plenty. <laughs> uh, the shade beasts will probably rip apart these light cavalry. Yeah. And then they couldn't even run with no losses. Uh, battle in Light Hills. Battle in Ederal. This one is a bit weaker, actually. Long dead are still just top notch. They seem to be much better than they were in Dominions 4. And, you know, they were decent in Dominions 4. Uh, Donnermark. Ooh, a plague. And a good harvest. And we have a breach of the fortifications of Pranda. Alright, and least I forget, we are going to rename... Whoops. Rename Hobnil, who is just a weird random name, to Prester Adams... Whoops. The Great. Welcome 
to the team, Prester Adams. Aha, here's an army. One we can really sink our teeth into. We will start heading more south, I believe. There's an army there. Army of 50. Oh. Sure, I could easily do it. I'm like, I got 57 beast bats. I'm pretty sure I can take that over. Could be getting overconfident. Like, it's a possibility. <laughs> I don't think I am. All right, go ahead and claim the throne. Ooh, and then you can build a lab and start getting more jaguar. Um, 23, how many turns of blood? 23. Huh. Wow, he really, he doesn't hold any more. Um, well, fair enough. We gotta get you into the fight, Crowley, buddy. Because you are basically unstoppable. really care what the orders are because I no longer care so much about this battle in the sea all right let's end it well, I just realized I didn't have a timer going so let's go ahead and set a timer now augury finding nothing Battle in Barito. So, so their capital got taken over by Rus. <laughs> All right, lions are just shredding their heavy cavalry. Maybe not shredding, but. Down here, the ogres are putting up a good fight against the shade beasts. But of course, their back line is destroyed already. <laughs> and just a horde of skeletons coming in from the uh, commanders, too but they'll never reach. Uh, let's see, lost 10 of the Shade Beasts. Lost a Beast Bat. Killed 77. Uh, the Summered Lions, they're doing good. They're certainly not dying, they're tanking a lot, but they're not quite getting the kills. I mean, that may be because in, in that particular one, they ran into the Heavy Cavalry. Or it just could be, because they're not as great as our blessing and our sacreds. Because our, our blessing is pretty phenomenal. Alright, here is more of a battle. Uh, a couple of light cavalry um, going right by our scorpions. They've got lamias. Mmm, okay. Those are an actual thing. Uh, a couple of warriors, a couple of 80, 
Could be an interesting one. Uh, we're gonna be crushing their back line though, any second. Control Shaman? Yes. Kit it out, too. Yeah, I'll somewhat kit it out. He's getting hit for... Things are looking pretty good. There will be some losses though from these scorpions. We've got our undead trail again. There's only one person here. Ooh, our commander has ran in. And decides he wants to get up close and personal. Man, he does have the champions tried it. He's up to you know four stars. So his strength is twenty-eight. So he's hitting for forty-seven points of damage with an attack of thirty. <laughs> his protection is still pretty bad and his defense okay, his defense is amazing, <laughs> so probably not something I need to worry about so much. But uh I mean, that was not the correct one. Uh, it was this one. Oh. Wow. Um. Yeah. We lost eight against 105. Okay. <laughs> and how does our underwater thing fare? Could actually lose this one. Even with the hordes of skeletons. Although, admittedly, less likely. Yeah, good job. Probably did lose a couple, though. Yeah, lost all of them. They didn't do much, but they got hit by a, a big grouping anyways. Alright, deathmatch. Um, of course, my guy has to compete. Black steel plate has been gained. And a new famous hero, it is Blue Golem. Blue Golem, you have extraordinary agility. Very nice. So, wait, what is the agility one? Um, attack and defense. Yeah, not bad. Alright, so let us, let's move him here. Let's storm the castle here. Let's storm the castle here. He has to complete in the death match. So we'll go ahead and give, since we have so much money anyway, a nice big PD here. Oh, Firebirds, how interesting. Uh, let's have him go forward. I forgot he could move so far, to be honest with you. And your army looks like you want to take this fight. <laughs> Let's see. Claim the lower throne. Um, construct already a lab here. All right. Uh, cast a ritual. Uh, blood. Monthly jaguar fiends. Oh 
my gosh, we could actually get three people a turn here. <laughs> what madness is this? Uh, we'll get a commander here as well, because eventually he'll just ferry down. That's probably going to be the hardest um, nut to crack by far. <laughs> really by far like we might even just leave it alone at this point uh, arena which is 25 gold gotcha hmm okay uh, how's our research looking pitiful because all of our researchers are moving in fair enough uh, we can start doing troll king court we have three hammers. Uh, he's probably my only three hammers, but you know, the Troll King Court is so good and we have so many that look, we can ritual cast that for a while or monthly cast that. <laughs> and up to 95 nature as well. Whoops. I meant to end the turn. Augury, nothing. Whoops. Ta -ta -ta. Battle in Shade Forest. Some losses there, I believe. Only one summer lion. I really did not expect the one summer lion. I thought they got hit a lot harder than that. Seven beast bats, eight sun guides. Of course, you know, we know that the sun guides hit very hard, uh, but are only above average in the getting hit portion of combat. <laughs> All right, battle in Pranda, Pranda, whatever. Our forts, which is going to fall instantly to us, basically. <laughs> Yeah! Um, lost three Shade Beasts. And a battle in Bertos, which should be a much bigger fort, but it's also a much bigger force. Yeah, they're throwing up uh, Killer Mantises, which, whoa, are now magical damage. They didn't always used to be magical damage, did they? I don't think so. Uh, regardless, they're better than they used to be, I believe. They're like a level one nature summon. Oh, there are fairies. Fairies can be annoying. Where'd those wyverns go? I didn't actually see. And it's over by the time our actual force arrives, basically. Lost six shade beasts and one sun guide. Found a crown of lead, an enchanted f shield, and or blue golem found, and Trip Fields found a storm spewill. And there was a single battle in the arena. Did I tell him to fight? No. Okay, this is them. 
All right, how interesting. Fire Elemental could be annoying. He's got a couple of them, too. You might have to get his hands dirty. Ooh, and he's burning. He's gonna die, he's gonna die! Oh, he's... No, he's fine. Whoa, down to three hit points. And a never healing wound. What does he get for winning, ladies and gentlemen? It is... The champion's helmet. He has been the champion for three long years. So he has, like, super quickness now. <laughs> Brow plus four. He has all one. He is inspirational three. And uh, we're gonna... We're gonna do something to take care about that never healing wound too. First he's gotta get up a lab. You know, I'm not even gonna bother doing the temples. Uh, you just come in like that. Since your force is a bit smaller, you can take over the provinces without <laughs> forts. Man, I, what, was I, what was I thinking? Alright, Troll King comes with a bunch of trolls. Uh, well, let's look at him. He's uh, Earth 3. Not bad. So he's got high protection, uh, regeneration 15, high HP. Uh, the basic trolls. Are those the basic ones? Yes. Uh, 35, regeneration 10, protection 15, uh, not so great on the hitting, but when they do hit, they do a lot of damage. Um, war trolls, which have 38, uh, 21 protection, because they have a full set of chainmail. Uh, again, not so decent on the actual fighting, but when they hit, they hit hard. And finally, some troll mooses. 40 hit points, higher protection, uh, regeneration 10, and again, more or less the same. Uh, his leadership is acceptable for what he is and what he has going on already. It's, you know, perfectly acceptable, but it's nothing spectacular. All right, I think this might be like the one Bertos province right here. <laughs> I could be wrong, but that's what I'm thinking. All right, Augury, nothing. Battle in Shade Forest, they attack us. Ooh, got some great eagles there. Uh, big on the hit points. Not bad on the attack. Two hits. They're expensive if I remember correctly. Ooh, this is more or less unprotected, so they're probably going to win. When I say probably, I mean it definitely because our province defense sucks. Uh, Kratos. <laughs> uh, and then we had one that was, oh, just completely undefended. That was my mistake. Uh, Star Peaks. Uh, 
A Savic Highlands? on a lot of these Vertlin. We're attacking Yomi here? They managed to field an actual army of at least fire snakes. Um, with Heat 3. Killing them might be more trouble than it was worth, actually. We did it anyways. Um, but there you go. They gave us a wallopin. And that's because, well, there was some exchanging of properties going back and forth. Is this our god? No, this is just one of their real big um, troops. Maybe we should watch that one back so we can try following that uh, big guy. Let's do that. We won't speed it up until we find out what happens to him. Because uh, he's not bad. 45 hit points. Uh, better than average protection. He's big. Uh, high magic resistance. Pretty good morale. Resistant to a couple of things. His strength. Good. Uh, attack skill. Uh, better than average. Defense is kind of bad. He's got three regular attacks and a fire breath attack. Which is nice. Where does he go? Back here. And okay, he went somewhere else. Here. And then he just routes. He, he was basically not a part of that battle. <laughs> uh, we lost a lot in that one, though. Six Beast Bats, six Summer Lions, 15 Sun Guys. Guides, not guys. <laughs> uh, famine. Uh, misfortune. We have Sieged Vertlin. You're under siege. And uh, Bertos is done. Let's see, Vertlin, Vertlin, where is he? Uh, and we're getting into Yomi too. Um, right. We're going to pull him back. I can't actually fly over these mountains? I suppose not. What a bummer. Blood feast and get rid of what you got going on. Because that's not a thing I want you going on with. And also, you get armor. So now, you got protection 20. That should help a bit. <laughs> that should help a bit. 
All right, we can troll king one more time, and we will. Here, we'll give each... Uh, troll king at something. Uh, one of the bad things about him, though, is that the low leadership means they can only command um, without penalty two units, and when you cast the court one, you get four units worth of things, basically. So that is a bit on the annoying side. Uh, we're not going to order him to do anything. Because, again, I don't... <laughs> I don't respect my opponents in this stage of the game at the moment. Uh, even though Roos is starting to uh, actually uh, fight back and has done some damage to us in a couple of places. But I can, at a moment's notice, just make a huge PD. Yeah, even though my PD not great. I could do it though. <laughs> Let's see, what are we up to back here? Let's go ahead and grab and then we'll move around down here. might make a line for this um, throne right up here in the corner. I hope that was all my orders. Augury! Nothing. Old Giant Woods. Not a battle worth watching. <laughs> Battle in Shade Forest. A couple of minor losses. Uh, that Firebird. Bring her fortune too. Okay. And a flame attack. That's really about all it's going for. Meritos. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we expected this one to happen. Uh, that's where we pulled out because we took some uh, damage. Magic plus one, uh, gained a lab and some nature gems, uh, good taxes, and found some sneakers. And we breached in a fortress. All right, can he cast one more? Sure looks like it. Uh, look, you can have some people too. All right, Blue Golem, storm the castle. Uh, you two, come on down, give him a bit of a hand. Uh, uh, Holta Cop and Ratsy, uh, you guys come down. Hmm, yeah. Gonna have to. Wait, didn't he blood feast? Did I not actually cast it? Must not have. All right, right here. All 
Okay, this is actually ours at the moment. So let's... Where is... Wow, all your troops can hide? Just... Wow. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Did not expect that. Who just pulled out of here? That was looking a little on the weak. Ah, uh, Drell. That's right. Um, okay, well, you guys... guys attack the big one because uh, that's what you guys do Crowley is coming up with a huge army <laughs> of beast bats they're both yeah of course I'm not afraid of picking a fight with Yomi either uh, we'll just kind of crush everybody now Augury, nothing. <laughs> Metal and Vertlin, we take it back after making a cautious retreat. Oh, and they don't have hardly anything there, so yeah. Ah, but Yomi also attacks Vertlin. And they don't have hardly anything there either. Uh, battle in a Junal Forest, or Junal? Against a singular mage, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> Battle in Oaklands. <laughs> Took two losses. Okay, thank you. Battle in Nicaea. Another death match. Lost a lab in Glistening Wood. Uh, there was an assassination attempt by a ghost on our stabbing demon. Uh, we lost population and we have done some fortification and destruction. Crowley! Come on from the bottom. Uh, Yomi apparently has taken advantage of us destroying Rus and has decided to destroy Rus as well. Uh, I can get on board with that. We still... what is going on? Why is he not curing his affliction? Are there not enough people there to sustain his... <laughs> Affliction-curing, population-eating ways? Oh, right. We didn't take that over yet. Not yet, anyways. Can I? No. Alright, fair enough. You two come down here. Uh, let's. Why can I not buy local defense? Oh, because right. You gotta you gotta swarm the castle first. <laughs> How silly of me. Uh, I'm gonna end it after this turn. I just want to see what happens to our unnamed. Uh, three-year champion, or 
for not exactly years. Oh, I guess we're on year seven, so it could very well be years. Doesn't seem like it's years, but augury, nothing. Battle in Roos. Oh, Roos, I see. Now, you still didn't have very much here, however. Crowley gets the honor. <laughs> uh, we lost a beast bat and two sun guys guides and they lost 73 mostly warriors uh, battle in Vertlin uh, first Yomi attacks us? Yeah, that seems silly. Uh, the Ethereal, of course, does slow us down. Uh, let's see, and then a battle in Vertlin Roos attacking uh, us. Apparently this is a hotly contested province. And it's at this point as well that no, hardly anybody's getting our blasts and anything like that, and to be frank, it still doesn't matter. Uh, I definitely need to turn the difficulty up for the next one. And speaking of the next one, um, I'll probably wind up finishing this in the next episode. So it is time for you guys to think about what faction I should play next. And I am open to your suggestions and ideas. Because I of course wanted to do Zabalba, because as I mentioned in uh, the first episode, uh, Zabalba was the first nation I ever got a win with. And so I wanted to see what they look like, at least early age. And now, or but now, I'm kind of open to whatever. Is it another flame peeler? 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 No, it's just some guy. And my beast bats. Oh, he can summon a single skeleton. How nice. Well, I like how he wanted to get in there at the end, too. It's up to 14 melee kills. Uh, what does he get? Champion's Gladius, so now they're just running out of weapons and prizes to give to people. Uh, let's see, where is he? Right here? Gosh, that actually replaces um, the other one. That's kind of a shame. But I guess you can't have a two hand and more. Please, this time, ritual. Blood feast. I'm, I'm pointing at the screen, telling him that he really needs to get this off. Uh, I don't. Un I don't know if he understands the gravity of the situation. <laughs> But I've done all that I can to uh, <laughs> convey it to him. Oh, this guy was uh, our scout, wasn't he? Yeah, he can go ahead and scout. How about that? Uh, we'll give orders. Uh, 
don't attack me, Yomi. You'll regret it. Hmm. Let's take a couple of turns. Her blood magic is terrible. <laughs> we haven't really been doing anything with it. And our, um, yeah, basically everything is terrible. And they need fire for Jaguar Fiends, so Prester Adams can do it. for you two. <clears throat> Apparently starting to lose my voice. Uh, Jaguars for you and I am I refuse to cast beast bats. <laughs> refuse. Can't cast too much with all of this. Da, da, da. Do you want to crossbreed? Crossbreeding is a spell that I do not find worth it, but we will show it off. Because why not? Uh, no, 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 you should not be sneaking. You should be taking over. Anybody else sneaking? Mm, except for him, he's allowed to sneak. Oh, right. So let's uh, let's get these trolls on the move. Oh, well, sure. Look, now everybody's got an army. Oh, their map movement sucks. All right, everybody, hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe, and all that other jazz. Hope you have a great day, and peace out.